Well, thank you, Chairwoman Demings, and thank you to all my colleagues and our witnesses for being here today. Now, before I begin, I would first like to take a moment to recognize Rabbi Charlie Crichton Walker, whose quick thinking and use of his security training helped save lives. Without a doubt, you absolutely saved lives. I sincerely appreciate you taking the time to share your experiences here today with us. I would also like to recognize the dedicated federal, state, and local law enforcement officers who answered the call that day. Our first responders put their lives on the line every single day, and we thank them for helping keep our communities safe. Chairwoman Demings, Chairwoman Slotkin, Ranking Member Fluger, I would like to thank you all for convening this hearing today to discuss FEMA's nonprofit security program and the critical role that this program plays in protecting our houses of worship. The event that took place at the Congregation Beth Israel Synagogue is unfortunately just the latest in a string of anti-Semitic attacks that have plagued Jewish communities both at home and abroad in recent years. In 2017, a retired French doctor was killed in her Paris apartment by an attacker motivated by anti-Semitism. The following year, much closer to home, a man shouting anti-Semitic slurs opened fire inside the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, killing 11. And in December 2019, a Jewish kosher deli was attacked in Jersey City, New Jersey, leaving four victims dead. While faith-based communities across the country face varying levels of discrimination, the American Jewish community continues to face a persistent threat of violence. This is a threat that has been shown to come from a variety of ideological motivations. According to the FBI's hate crime statistics, in 2020, there were 1,174 victims who were targeted due to their religion. Of those victims, the Jewish community accounted for a staggering 54.9% of all religious bias crime, nearly 55%. That is a staggering number and unacceptable. These reported anti-Semitic incidents occurred at Jewish institutions such as synagogues, Jewish community centers, and Jewish schools. The reported incidents included harassment, vandalism, and assault. While the continued prevalence, prevalence excuse me, of these attacks can sometimes seem overwhelming, as Rabbi Charlie Creighton Walker showed us, the proper use of security training and resources can absolutely help save lives. One of the most important resources available to houses of worship is FEMA's nonprofit security grant program. And this competitive grant program provides funding to support the target hardening and other security related activities to nonprofit organizations that are at high risk for a terrorist attack. Specifically, the program seeks to integrate the preparedness activities of nonprofit organizations with the broader state, local, tribal, and territorial preparedness efforts. This vit the vital nature of this program is highlighted by the fact that in fiscal year 21, more than 3,300 non nonprofit organizations submitted applications to this program. Almost 40% of the nonprofits that applied had never received this funding. However, due to the widespread demand for this program, less than half of the nonprofits that applied ended up receiving funding. As the lead Republican on the House Homeland Security Committee Subcommittee for Emergency Preparedness, Response, and Recovery, I remain committed, along with Chairwoman Demings, to strengthen our nation's overall emergency preparedness by supporting programs like the Nonprofit Security Grant Program. I also remain committed to working in a bipartisan manner to stop and combat anti-Semitism and violence across all religious groups. Religion, freedom of religion is a cornerstone of our Constitution, and any violation of this freedom should not be tolerated. For this reason, I co-sponsored a bipartisan resolution condemning the recent anti-Semitic terrorist act on the congregation Beth Israel Synagogue. In closing, I am incredibly proud to represent Florida's third congressional district, which has an incredible, vibrant faith community. In fact, my district includes the University of Florida, the Gator Nation, which is home to the largest Jewish student organization in the country, Gators for Israel. I look forward to hearing from our witnesses on the importance of the nonprofit security grant program 
and the ways in which they have used this grant program to protect their faith communities and any recommendations that they have to improve this program moving forward. And with that, thank you, Chairwoman Demings, and I yield back.